Uh, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, my name is Marco Panebianco, and I work at ARIA. ARIA is a public company owned by Region Lombardy, which it deals with uh, innovation, digital services, and public procurement. And uh, I re I'm really pleased to be here because it, it's a good opportunity to share uh, what, uh, what is our vision and uh, how, what we are doing, what our experience on the theme of API and digital ecosystems with the private market too, because I have seen that uh, there are a lot of people coming from uh, the private uh, sector. And um, really thanks to the organizers and uh, to the European Commission and uh, JRC for the, your very kind invitation. I just want to do a quick short summary of what is Region Lombardy and ARIA, because <laughs> probably you, you may know, but Region Lombardy is uh, the main uh, region in Italy. Uh, um, is a, a region full, full of beauty. I, I can assure you that uh, we have a, a very, very a beautiful uh, natural places and uh, things to do, culture, tourism, and so on, but is uh, rich of uh, um, activities too, economic ones and anthropic activities. So it is very complex to manage. Uh, just to, to tell some numbers, we have uh, 10 million citizens to, uh, to give something, <laughs> something back. Uh, 1,500 municipalities, uh, about uh, 800,000 private companies registered, and uh, another uh, economic indicator is the gross domestic product is uh, comparable with uh, one of some middle state members in European Union. Anyway, this is very complex, uh, um, uh, scenario where we are working. And which is, what is ARIA? ARIA is a, a company owned by the region which deals with these uh, uh, activities. We uh, are uh, delivering services for uh, digital healthcare, for digital government. Uh, we manage with all the digital infrastructure for regional services. And uh, uh, from uh, since uh, two, two, three months, uh, we are dealing with uh, public e-procurement for all the municipalities in Lombardy. Then, this is a simple picture. We want to summarize four steps uh, that we are in mind uh, from uh, starting from scratch uh, and going to a full digital, digital government. Uh, many of our administrations in Lombardy are at this level, not at this level, I'm going down, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, the first level is the government, uh, as uh, we, we thought uh, some times ago. Uh, it, it means uh, giving uh, access to websites, uh, to online uh, services, to the end user. Stop. This is a good starting point, but not all administration uh, are doing that so well. So the first step. Then, the other step, the following step for us is uh, to give value and to share, to publish uh, the data and services in an open way to everyone. Then there is another step, uh, which is a, a step of digital ecosystems, where focus, uh, I'm focusing my presentation on this one, uh, which deals with the relationships. I, not, I don't publish for everyone. I share something. I and other subjects, and someone takes value from these relationships. And the, the last one uh, to, to become all digital is to change the process, processes of a digital, of administration by the, in a digital way, by use of algorithm models and so on. We are, we are trying some, something about the four steps, but with not mature two. So, uh, today we'll talk about these two steps. With region, we discussed uh, and we fixed uh, some strategic goals. With I, I don't want to reply all the words that I, I've uh, written there, but uh, uh, I highlighted some tags, some words. Uh, as you can see, we, we are dealing with digital ecosystems, so relationships, API-driven approach, uh, public value, the value that uh, an administration can give, can give back to citizen and private companies to make something. And partnerships between the public and the private sector. We will, uh, I will show you an example. 
Then another uh, interesting thing is that, I, I mean, I know that uh, this is a pretty technical conference. I mean, uh, most of all are developers or uh, people that uh, are used to manage uh, APIs in a technical way. But uh, when I have to face with political level, on management level, I can't take that language. So I have to translate. I have to give another definition of API. An API for us is an application program interface, is a service interface, technology independent. Doesn't matter what is a REST API or SOAP web service or something else, which exposes business functionalities that can be used to create new digital services and new relationships inside a digital ecosystem. This is not uh, uh, well uh, understood by everyone, but is more uh, understandable in a way uh, with respect of a technical definition. Then I have to face with the technical guys too, so I have to uh, rotate <laughs> and, and speak that language. Anyway, so API, what does it mean in Lombardy? I have another definition, uh, which is a slogan in a way. It's administrations sharing public value by means of interoperability. This is our translation of API. And this is well understood by the political level too. An architecture diagram, uh, we put uh, at the base all digital information assets of Region Lombardy. And not only, not only because Region Lombardy is uh, in relationship with, uh, with other companies and with the local administrations. So, um, as uh, you probably know better than me, it's possible to uh, distinguish the APIs in internal APIs and external APIs. Uh, we are working hard on internal APIs to change our information system, but this is a, an activity that is not, uh, um, is not, uh, uh, understand, uh, is not, is not uh, seen from outside, I mean. Uh, we are working very hard on these ones. I mean, public APIs is a longer story. Um, I mean, uh, uh, open data sets uh, accessible through APIs. I mean, geo services uh, uh, following the Inspire Directive uh, uh, and other geo services, uh, which are delivered uh, by a geo portal. This is a story of some years ago. We, we started the, the public uh, exposure of uh, APIs and data more or less 10 years ago. And now we are in a good uh, position to, to spread the value to someone else. But the open ecosystems are, have come as, uh, as a target uh, everyone. And we don't know who is everyone? Who is everyone? We publish something, and uh, on the other side, the consumer consumes the data, but we can't establish a relationship. So we don't know how and for what is using uh, the data or the geo services. So we have introduced uh, another level with the community level, which, are, which is focused on community ecosystems, I mean uh, an, an ecosystem in which uh, we have a lot of subjects that are working in sharing a, a common model, common policies, and we establish some relationship. We know what uh, a subject uh, is doing with uh, the API provided by another subject. Then we, other, we have another level too, we, we, uh, we call restricted APIs, and this is because not all the APIs uh, can be um, shared uh, with everyone. Uh, we have uh, APIs with restricted uh, uh, rules, uh, laws, uh, policies, and so we have to face, uh, for example, we have all the healthcare APIs that uh, make possible uh, the communication between the hospitals and the uh, regional center for healthcare. Of course, it's a closed, very closed ecosystem with sensitive data. Just um, a quick focus on the Lorbadi Open Data Portal. 
is an open data portal as uh, many others in the world, but <laughs> it has uh, two uh, specific uh, characteristics. One is the huge number of data sets, which are uh, 3,300 uh, data sets um, regarding a lot of themes or business domains. And the other is that uh, all uh, these data sets are accessible, free, by APIs, by everyone. The other example is the GeoPortal. It's specific for the uh, community of geo users, of technical geo users, but anyway can be consumed by everyone we want to deal with geographic information. We publish over uh, 2000, uh, sorry, 250 maps available through APIs in this specific way, REST APIs and OGC, Open Geo Special Consortium uh, Web Services, which is a standard for geographic uh, field. But uh, the, the ecosystem I want to talk to you about, to share our experience, is E015, uh, which Mark uh, uh, said before, an example of a digital ecosystem. Uh, a pi public private community ecosystem. Uh, this is ecosystem uh, was born in 2015. That's the name E015. Why? Because uh, at, at that uh, year, that uh, time, uh, we had a problem to solve. Uh, in uh, Milan, uh, Milan is the capital of Lombardy, as you probably remember, took place the World Exposition called Expo 2015. It was uh, a really complex event to manage, and one of the first things uh, were how can we put together all the providers of information about safe in safety and security on the site of, ESR, uh, of uh, World Exposition. So it was a local problem, in a way. And uh, starting from this uh, concrete and, and um, problem to solve, uh, we have uh, defined a way which let uh, all the providers of data and services uh, be part of a story without uh, centralizing everything. So, uh, E015 is a model, it's not a platform, it's not a physical platform, but is a, a framework of policies and rules, and uh, at the center there is a um, management, management board which is in charge of the validation of the requests for publishing APIs and uh, consuming APIs. But everyone that can um, can, that want to use an API in E015 has only one thing to do. Go to the catalog and if interested, um, become, become a participant of this uh, ecosystem, signing a, a virtual contract, a digital contract, so it's not virtual, <laughs> it's digital. Some numbers, uh, we have uh, at the moment uh, uh, more than 600 participants, not all are active, to tell the truth, but they are participants. We are, we are potential users. We have uh, more than 80 applications in different fields, and um, more or less uh, uh, 160 APIs. But the uh, focus is on the relationships, because uh, uh, the relationships, of, of course, are the connection between a consumer and the provider, not only from a technical point of view, but from a business point of view. So if you have, want to make an app uh, about culture or tourism, you could have a, a need, the need to, to access to information about events, uh, museums, uh, uh, natural places, and so on. And all this information um, are put in on the table by the owners, non, not by Region Lombardy. Region Lombardy is an enabler. Anyway, Region Lombardy puts their uh, own APIs in E015, sorry, in E015 too. E015 is in Italian, sorry. E015. So, two roles for Region Lombardy. Enabler and uh, provider. 
some examples. Uh, I, if I have some, some minutes, I can sh uh, show you uh, online with a demonstration what is uh, uh, ESR15, because um, I could uh, show you the catalog, but the catalog is a catalog, so I think that uh, you should go to the catalog to mm, make an idea of what is the content. I want to show another thing that was uh, very useful uh, some times ago, because a catalog uh, doesn't uh, cover all the need for information, so you have to make some examples, some practical examples. So, and, and we, we implemented, we realized uh, a, an application, which is in a way a demonstrator. We call it L15, L15. And uh, this, uh, I try to go, huh? perfect. This is the catalog. Here are some examples of uh, the latest APIs published of different uh, kinds. The events, cultural events in Cremona. Cremona is a Lombard city, very famous for culture. Uh, Dai, Regional Lombardia are the defibrillators. Defri uh, I don't know if it's the correct name. Defibrillators um, um, used uh, in healthcare emerge emergency. And that is the API that uh, uh, gives information about all the day in Lombardy, and so on. But uh, what is the demonstrator? The demonstrator is this one. It's an application where we, we try to put uh, a sample of use of all the, of part of the APIs uh, available in E015 to let the stakeholders understand what does it mean. What, what it means using an API. So, we have, uh, for example, here all the culture places. Um, we have uh, real-time transport information here because some providers, uh, for example, the uh, Milan Airport uh, company gives uh, in, a zero in 015 uh, the information about uh, real-time uh, flights. Um, we, we have uh, samples of a lot of kinds. I don't want to go uh, further, but if you want to go to a, take a, a direct uh, a link, you can uh, use the endpoint. The, the URL is l15.regione.lombardia.it. Okay. I come back to the presentation. As I said before, uh, we have a lot of um, uh, examples in, in many, many business domains. Public transport were the first one, but we have some samples in commerce, culture and tourism, and most of all in safety and emergency. Is a, is a, a news of today that uh, um, Switzerland and Lombardy has started a project to collaborate on safety and emergency at cross-border in Interreg, uh, using the E015 model and trying to, to implement uh, a dashboard together. Okay, then, then we have to face with closed ecosystems. So E015 is for community. Uh, there are other ecosystems with other for strict communities, in a way. Healthcare, civil protection, urban planning, waste management. They are uh, uh, characterized by strong digital relationship, personal and sensitive data, high level of compliance to specific uh, laws or policies. I don't mean digital laws, I mean laws of the sector, <laughs> agricultural laws, healthcare laws, and so on. And uh, at the moment, but we have a, a hope for the future, they are uh, mainly focused on the exchange, massive exchange of data or puntual exchange between among systems and not for the creation of new services for the end user. They are, they are a sort of backbone for information. What's next? Uh, we, we 
we think that we are the beginning of the story. Uh, we have um, made a lot of uh, uh, kilometers. <laughs> we, dry, we drove for a lot of kilometers, but we have a lot of things to do. And um, I'm in charge. Uh, I'm overseeing the uh, API governance initiative in Region Lombardy. And uh, this is the panel of actions that we have to face uh, from now on. We are working on. First, uh, we are uh, implementing an API marketplace. Why another catalog? Because, as you've seen before, now we have too many catalogs. And they don't talk the same language. One was open data. One was geoportal and direct. Uh, inspired directive oriented. One uh, is ISR 1.5, which is public sector, private sector oriented. So we have to uh, try to make one solution which, which could be used for many uses. This is the, our vision. Another important thing we are working on is API storytelling. Is a step over the cataloging of, of an API. Because uh, I, can go, I can give the catalog to a, to a policymaker, but he, doesn't understand, he, she doesn't understand what is it. So I, I have to make some samples. Uh, to make a sample, I can't implement every day another piece of so or software that uh, um, uses an API, because it's very uh, difficult. Uh, to sustain in the time. No? I don't make an app for every stakeholder. So we think that a, a, a way could be the, uh, to tell a story. Tell a story means uh, tell a dynamic story. Tell a story in which uh, you can uh, show that the data are alive, the, the, the API is alive. And we have prepared a little demo for <laughs> this occasion. Uh, there, are the, there are some other issues very, very strong about API governance. I mean, you had to face uh, inside our co company, inside region, with other stakeholders, uh, and every day keep uh, to try the interest high about it. Because at policy level, the interest uh, goes everywhere. And don't stand. You not have the attention for for such uh, for many time, and for uh, for a lot of time. And so you have to go uh, proposing uh, some killer applications. Uh, we are working for the national interoper interoperability model. We are working to be compliant with the incoming national interoperability model, and of course we keep very high attention to standards and guidelines because uh, without this um, uh, without standards and guidance we, we, we have the risk to, to go uh, in a way different from all the, the other world. So uh, we put a, a lot of attention on this. Um, and we are addressing new opportunities. It means uh, working with other uh, entities, with other administrations, trying to make some projects uh, uh, together, and uh, why not uh, uh, trying to go in the vision of a European Commission and digital single market too. Then we have some more technical issues which deals with uh, API management gateways, and we have uh, uh, defined a centralized team uh, in our company which deals with the team of, of uh, designing, implementing, and publishing. Uh, please take in, into account that our company is not a software factory. We have to deal with uh, a lot of uh, market providers, IT market providers, so we have to keep order in a way. And the last one is very important because uh, Regional Lombardy is uh, uh, asking us, oh, who is using uh, the APIs? For what? which could be the impact. And so we have to mix up uh, the uh, monitoring of APIs from a technical point of view, how many calls and so on, with the impact that uh, the use of that API could, uh, uh, could have uh, on the users of the application that uses the API. And 
just to finish, this is a little sample of what we mean for uh, API storytelling. Uh, as you probably know, uh, in 2026, uh, in Milan, in Lombardy and Cortina, will take place the uh, Winter Olymp Olympics. And so uh, we are trying to focus the evolution of our ecosystems based on API, even for that application. This is a sample. I can go to the politic, pol policy maker, say, well, we have an API. What is an API? We have an API which tells about natural parks. But what is an API? What can I do with it? And we show the policymaker this example. This is without code. Obviously, it's not an application. It's a story. We tell the story and give an evidence of the parks. Here you can, say, you can see uh, a natural park uh, which is near to my home. And uh, in this way, you can take this part of a story and merge it with another part of another story and uh, try to let the policymaker and the business or the business stakeholder understand what uh, he, she can do with that API mixed with others is an experimental uh, activity. <laughs> We're trying to start it uh, uh, because we, as I said before, we, we don't have time, time and, um, and money to make an example for each stakeholder. <laughs> Start so we have to manage with stories at the higher level. Okay? And that's it uh, for the moment. Okay. Thank you. I really thank you for your attention and you disposal for your <laughs> questions. Questions for Marco? No. Uh, so, oh. so then when you said, um, thanks for that, that was great. When you said that there was the link to the broader policies like the um, cultural or, you know, or any other sort of policy, how, how do you document that or how do you, in that last slide you said you go to those policy makers in the departments and sort of demonstrate what's possible. But then when you're, so did your department, for example, identify which overarching government um, goals you want to try to say, hey, we can solve this with APIs? Or how do you, how do you align that work from where you are upwards? Uh, is a, a complex answer. I mean, the way we use now is to, um, to stay in touch with the uh, stakeholder and try to, un to understand the business needs uh, and the business constraints, the legal constraints and so on. And so we translate into API. I, we don't give the, the stakeholder the API and tell, okay, this is uh, for you, make uh, uh, your um, understanding, your evaluation of the legal, uh, on the laws, uh, if the APIs is or not compliant and so on. No, we try to understand before, is, is the core mission of our uh, company to understand uh, this level, the business demand, and uh, uh, try to uh, implement, design, implement APIs which are compliant with the sector. So uh, in healthcare, um, another step is, is possible is to put in the laws the seed of digital, not of API, but the seed of digital. So in regional Lombardy, for example, some regional laws are oriented at the use of digital information, um, and they were approved by the policy level, were formally approved. So we can go, uh, in a, uh, go further in an easier way, in a way more simple, simpler way. But not. Uh, we, we have to to share these uh, these uh, issues uh, before the laws are created or defined. So it's another level. Is it before programming? Not not uh, not IT programming. I mean uh, resource programming is the law definition. Okay. 
More questions? No? So I think it's time for a break, and we'll meet again at 4.30 in half an hour. Thank you very much, Marco. Thank, Thank you, you, too. See you later.